Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. The Bible says in Mark chapter 11, when you read verse 24, it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when, not if, when ye pray, when ye pray. It is true that prayer is not the only key of the kingdom, but prayer must be involved in every process in the kingdom. Please listen to what I just said. Prayer is not, cannot be the only key of the kingdom. But prayer must be involved in every process of the kingdom. The Bible here connects desire to prayer. Whatsoever things, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. In James chapter 5 and verse 13, Apostle James was mentoring us again in the school of prayer. And he said, if, is any man afflicted? He says, let him pray. Then it says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous availeth much. Are we learning now? You are not growing spiritually for sure if there is a decline in your prayer life. I assure you on this. If you downplay prayer and prayer becomes a necessary burden that you just have to go through, you are not going to grow spiritually. There is a role that prayer has to play in the growth and the maturity of the saints. Let me just run through four of them very quickly, still on point one. The first assignment of prayer in the life of the believer is for growth and transformation. You may want to write it down. The first assignment of prayer in your life is for your growth and transformation. Luke chapter 9 and verse 29. Luke 9, 29. The Bible says, And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered, and his raiment was white and glistering. Prayer transforms you. What does that mean? When you engage yourself and submit yourself to the ministry of prayer, backed up by the Spirit, it is able to begin to open your organs of interaction with the realm of the Spirit. The absence of discernment, spiritual carelessness is a product of prayerlessness. So many things happen, but you have not sustained the faculty to perceive, to discern. Hallelujah. In fact, the Bible gives that one of the recommendations for getting out of temptations is to watch and pray. Watch means your intellect and your mind will be involved. But in addition to that, he says pray. Do not depend on your mind and your intellect alone. Watch and pray. If you watch alone, you will fall into temptation. If you pray alone, you might fall into temptation. Watch and pray. Is God speaking to us? So the first assignment of prayer is for your growth and transformation. The second assignment of prayer very quickly is for what I call spiritual legislation. The ability to make decrees and to manifest possibilities in your life. If you are not rich in your prayer life, there are many things that will not be captured in your experience. Because many of those things will come through the power of decrees and creation. If we are together, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Very, very important. Most people do not know. In fact, Job 22 and verse 28 says, it says that thou shalt decree a thing. Job 22 and 28. 22, 28. 2228. Hallelujah. Thou shalt also decree a thing and it shall be established. What will be established is not what you want, it's what you decree. And you decree in prayer. Are we together? That in the name of Jesus, the Lord is my light and my salvation. That when men say there is a casting down for me, I decree and declare that there will be a lifting up. 
Is that someone's testimony? So this is the year when you don't keep quiet. When you hear that something is killing people, AI is not the response. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that I am covered. The Bible says, they that dwell in the house of the Lord, that they shall flourish in the courts of our God. Is that true? That even in old age, they shall be fat and flourishing. The assignment of prayer is to give you the responsibility of working in partnership with the spirit to design and create your possibilities do not complain about a day that you did not speak into listen listen don't assume you understood what i just said do not complain you have a responsibility the bible says this is the day that the lord has made is that true he makes the day but you now fill that day with the possibilities that you want and that happens through prayer he said has thou commanded thy morning many people are careless they stumble into days they stumble into seasons and they wonder why negative things are there when you fail to sow a seed in your farm something will still grow it is called weed agriculture defines weeds as unwanted plants they are plants but they are not wanted at least not in the farm and i will not be silent i will always you. as long as I am breathing, I will worship you. Prayer gives you the responsibility to walk in partnership with the Holy Spirit. January, you are blessed. February, you are blessed. I call you by your name. I'm speaking about myself. Don't say amen for me. March, I declare you are blessed. April, May, June, July. In the name of Jesus, all that I see in my life is the glory of God. I reject everything that does not carry the image of God in my life. Listen, let me tell you the truth. As childlike as this sounds, many people today have fallen sadly even to the grave because they did not know that part of the responsibility of the believer is to use the creative power of God given to you through words and through the medium of prayer in partnership with the spirit did you know in Ezekiel 37 he said Ezekiel tell the bones to do this and the bones did not respond to the voice of the spirit the bones had what the Holy Spirit was telling Ezekiel, yet they did not respond until Ezekiel spoke. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound. The sound started when the man spoke, not when the Spirit spoke. So God can say it is a great year for you. If you do not speak, that statement remains in the realm of the Spirit. He says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so not just hear so not just wish so let the blessed of the lord say so let the anointed of the lord say so let those who are flourishing by the lord say so those who are ashamed to say so are those who will be in trouble the woman said to herself if i may but touch i can heal myself but i can speak i may have an issue of blood but not an issue of speaking hallelujah the third assignment of prayer is for warfare and intercession this is very powerful i'm not teaching on prayer but i'm just helping you i hope we're still together yes that we're discussing the forces that help us to make spiritual progress and one of them is prayer and i'm now breaking down that prayer has four assignments biblically speaking one of the assignment of prayer is for your growth and transformation number two is for spiritual legislation number three is for warfare and intercession let me tell you the truth i hate i wish that i were lying but demons are real look up please 
wickedness is real the bible tells us without confusion that the whole world lies in wickedness i didn't trouble anybody nobody would trouble me go to heaven for as long as you are on earth the bible tells please look up look up look up i'm not being sarcastic i'm just telling you that the world is that wicked to the point that your progress will become somebody's reason for hatred why are you moving forward why does everything work out for you there were people who bound themselves in the bible with fasting that they would not eat till paul died i don't know what they did because paul lived long after that time whether they broke their fast they forgave themselves but paul did not die immediately but look at that level of wickedness that people will bind themselves and say food go away on that means someone can sit down and say i don't know who owns this company but for as long as i'm alive i will walk in partnership with the devil to see that it's only tears that come this is the assignment of prayer that you can redesign and redirect your possibilities and say satan minus me minus your children you decree and declare hallelujah it is true spiritual legislation and then warfare and intercession you can establish spiritual realities in your life no sickness will come and bring me down to the grave no i i have a long life to live serving the purposes of god lord you spoke to me through my pastor that i'm flourishing therefore they say that this thing affects everybody in our family but i make a decree in the name of jesus that there is a superior blood the blood of the eternal covenant that speaks better things even than the blood of abel and i appropriate that blood over my life and my health i will not be a victim of these demonic patterns let me submit to you hoping and wishing that one day it will magically get out of your life is a joke you will need to pray there are families where people don't rise it is true you've seen everybody you've seen those who went before you tried to rise and they went down don't take for granted these forces are vicious they show no mercy it takes the ability to engage the forces of the spirit especially the forces of the blood to keep the enemy at bay god did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that there is a structured demonic organogram paul in his exegesis began to list the cadres. he says for we do not uh, wrestle against flesh and blood is that in your bible but against what principalities powers rulers of darkness and the spiritual wickedness that reside in the heavenlies he now begins to teach you that jesus himself is head over principalities he recognizes their existence you are the only one who has denied it Jesus himself recognizes that they are there, but that you are being raised up with him above them. It is your assignment to now engage and establish that reality. Please, for someone this year, God is saying, if you keep quiet, this year will be like last year. It's time to pray and say no more. 2023, I engage, I decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, my business must reveal Christ. My life must reveal Christ. Apostle, don't talk to me about last year. It was a horrible year. Don't worry. Remember you not the former things, nor consider the things of old. But it is your assignment now. Every year will be like the last, except your prayer changes it. Is someone learning? Let me stop here so we go to the next one that should be enough the day that we discuss prayer proper will now stretch all the dimensions i think you've had enough on prayer hallelujah that the assignment of prayer <laughs> hallelujah do i give you the last one okay so prayer is a platform for obtaining requests and granting petitions petitions and requests are granted through the medium of prayer if you do not pray there is no basis for obtaining requests what things soever ye desire mark 11 24 it says when ye pray so it is at the place of prayer we receive notice here he uses two words receive and have 
you only have what you have received if you have not received it you cannot have it receiving is a spiritual thing having is the manifestation we only have what we have received by faith are we together now what things soever ye desire apostle i'm trusting god for a great year i'm trusting god to lift my children you can receive answers in the place of prayer someone say in the name of jesus please shout it say in the name of jesus i obtain grace to pray one more time say i obtain grace to pray you must fight prayerlessness like you fight satan you must obtain grace to wake up and pray wake up and pray wake up and pray pray as a couple pray as a business don't say we are not into this spiritual thing better be spiritual pray hallelujah wake up and pray because God is in the business of rewarding and lifting people and Satan is determined like never before to bring others down you can exempt yourself through prayer shout amen please the second force that is responsible for spiritual progress in this kingdom is the ministry of the word the ministry of the word number one was the ministry of prayer the ministry of the word acts chapter 20 please and verse 32 acts 20 and verse 32 acts 20 32 and now brethren he says i commend you to god and to the word of his grace i'm hearing god is speaking about someone and he's saying he's averting death from the family this is this, yes of course i know everybody but as i just mentioned that scripture i just saw a coffin and i had it in my spirit i don't know who i'm speaking to but anything that has vowed that your family maybe your loved ones maybe someone is sick in the hospital in the name of jesus here at this conference i stand in partnership with the graces that are in this house and i declare that you are escaped from death your loved ones are escaped from death in the name of jesus christ hear me the sound of mourning will not be heard in your house please sit down i commend you to god he says and to the word of his grace watch the assignment of the word number one it is able to build you up number two it is able to give you an inheritance among them not among everyone among them that are sanctified i commend you to god i commend you to the word it is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified this is very very powerful second timothy chapter 3 and verse 15 second timothy 3 15 second timothy 3 15 timothy second timothy 3 15 very powerful scripture and that from a child so when did you start that word project from a child thou hast known the holy scripture it says which are able to make you wise we don't just become wise we are made wise by the word when you say someone is wise i'm not talking about sophia the world's wisdom superior wisdom that comes from above we don't just have it we are given by the word when you interact with the word you access supernatural divine wisdom and the bible says wisdom is connected to mighty works in fact it says wisdom is justified by her children the presence of wisdom is validated by the results that follow don't say i am wise if your life is barren of results are we together it can make you wise unto salvation it can make you wise the bible contains the wisest perspective god's thoughts his modus operandi as far as any and all matters that pertain to life and godliness is concerned when you ignore the word of god you may have heard me teach it but let me just say it here that essentially 
the bible contains three things number one promises you may want to write number two principles you may also want to write that number three prophecies so every time you open the bible you are interacting with three dimensions of realities number one promises god's commitment to you number two principles the modus operandi of the kingdom how god operates number three prophecies a compass that guides you into a meaningful life in the midst of all that happens in society we are not surprised today because the bible is a prophetic book it already told us darkness shall cover the earth any believer that is grounded in the world should not be surprised being shocked and surprised is proof that you have not accessed the wisdom that comes with the word. Did the Bible not say perilous times shall come? Did the Bible not say nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom? Those are not principles. That is the prophetic operation of the word. But you can find the promises. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2. And it shall come to pass, for instance, it says, If thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, to do and observe all that I command you this day, that these blessings, all these blessings shall come upon you and shall overtake you. It says you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth, and all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you. Promises. There are conditions tied to them. Then there are principles. The Bible tells us through parables that the kingdom operates this way. And it will use a story to illustrate a biblical principle. For instance, there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth. It's not a promise. That is a principle. When you reject the word of God, you have rejected access to superior wisdom. When you reject the word of God, you have rejected access to superior wisdom. And the Bible speaking about wisdom, it says, By me kings reign and princes decree justice. It said, With me are riches, wealth, and honor, yea, durable riches and righteousness, that those that seek me early will find me. There is timing to wisdom. You must seek it early. Is someone learning now? This is the year that you must obtain grace. Go and get pastor's materials and settle down. Don't say I was there when they preached it. Faith comes by two kinds of hearing. The hearing that gives you information and the hearing that gives you understanding. It comes by hearing and hearing. Awareness and comprehension. Just because you are aware that that subject matter was discussed does not mean you have received. Is someone learning now? Yes. You know, most believers are careless about the word and they do not know. Please look at me. Ah. Show us the ancient path. Will you lead us along eternal highway? We want to follow the ways of Jesus. We want to enter. Please do not allow the devil to deceive you. That the word of God is a is is a necessary luggage that you have to carry contained here are stories of people who have gotten what you are looking for is it prosperity you will find it here is it the lifting power the Bible here written here was a shepherd who became a king written here was a prisoner who became a prime minister how high do you want to rise that the word of God does not have something to tell you written here are dead people who came back to life the bible archives their testimonies in the book of hebrews 11 it says for by faith the elders obtained a good report then you begin to read through faith this happened this one happened it says the things that are written are for time they are for our learning so that we through patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope apostle right now my health is failing Go and read the book of Job and I will show you a man health failed and it was a global news and yet he still came back. Apostle, you don't know how much I've lost. Still read the book of Job and see a man who was the richest in the east and everything plus his children died. But I love chapter 42 and verse 10 of Job. It says, and God restored Job when he prayed for his friends that he had twice the things that he lost. 
everyone who rejected him suddenly started coming and the bible says everyone brought him a piece of money apostle people misunderstand me in my office go and ask joseph and his trouble with potiphar's wife good people can go to prison too but they only go to prison to end up in the throne the prison is where good and bad people meet together just like the cross but i can tell you sincere people don't remain in the prison the same way sincere people do not hang there and remain there for as long as you think the bible is such a dull book that does not have anything to tell you in our contemporary world you have fallen into the trap of satan how about people who became so wealthy and forgot god and misused the money go to the book of ecclesiastes and watch the repentance of a fallen man one who had everything you can ever imagine the preacher wrote confessing that everything my eyes desired i had do you know what level of loss that is that you don't have control anything your eyes saw you carried and instead of reading many books there is no end and much study is a weariness to the soul hear the conclusion of the matter fear god he says and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man show me the level of wisdom you have by the depth of the word that you have put in your spirit don't show me by your age that's a risk don't show me by where you travel to or didn't travel to that is a risk I only call you wise to the degree to which I see the Word of God resident within you the wisdom that comes with age is profitable but very limiting in the light of current realities the wisdom that comes through academics is very useful but you have seen experts to their knees the things that are happening in the world today have caused people to rethink their concept of intelligence but there is wisdom that comes from above and that comes by the word for someone God is telling you don't allow the devil keep deceiving you you may not have a job but you have a Bible start there use the time and start there father open thou my eyes that I may behold wondrous things from out of your word and you will find where it was written concerning you the Bible says in Luke chapter 4 that Jesus came and the scroll of Isaiah was given to him and he found where it was written concerning him there is something written concerning you but you must find it when he found it he said this day is this fulfilled in your eyes say in the name of Jesus I obtain grace to be serious with the word five minutes one verse that may be for a baby Christian but the challenges that that are looking for you they require a plethora of scriptural wisdom to deal with you cannot afford to freelance your Bible study life you just pick one verse and say can you send me any verse to comfort me now you need to be serious you need to obtain grace I'm, 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 it's my charge with every sense of, I'm, I'm not the reading type I don't really like the Bible like that let me tell you my brothers and sisters when a patient is sick and they tell him swallow this one three three hours or six six hours whether you like it or not the doctor is not there to see all your tantrums you have to make up your mind it's either I want to be well is that true he says they are life to those who find them they are not just good news they are life when the Bible says something he said my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my saying it says do not let it depart from your mouth keep it in the midst of your heart then he says they are life not to everybody to those who find them and health to their flesh your security is based on your knowledge wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times fear and loving God today and doubting unnecessarily tomorrow is because the word is not settled in you I tell you if you make this year the year that you sit with the word some of you need to go and look for a bookstore buy a Bible buy a material or whatever whether electronically or what just settle down and say father I, I obtain grace spirit of the living God 
breathed upon my mind. I'm tired of swinging like a pendulum from pillar to post. Based on the things that happen around me, I contend for stability. And that's by the word. Jesus himself knew what to do. May you know what to do this year. Please shout amen again. Don't be the kind of person that celebrates a message on Sunday. Preach, preacher, and you are not listening. By Monday, you don't even know what to do. When you stand before situations and circumstances, scriptures like arrows should come out of you. And they are like weapons. You know what to do. When someone says, over my dead body for you to rise in this office, you don't have to argue and start shouting. You know what to do. There is a mystery. You surround yourself with mysteries like chariots. You know what to do. It's like calling your pastor a woman and he begins to cry. Is that not an issue of a disturbing issue? There is a depth of revelation that has translated to trust that settles within you that you know I'm a man, not a woman. So if someone says, I think you're a woman, that's, 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 thank God bless your, your perception. And I pray there will be enough doctors who help you when it becomes... But as for you, you are settled. That's the same way when someone says you're a failure. You don't just speak unbelief. No, no, I'm not a... Mm -mm -mm -mm. I already know. There is a speaking that is out of fear. But there is a settled reality. This is not pride. Jesus said before Abraham was, I am. He was not lying. Are we learning? the ministry of the word please if you if you don't get anything among the things that i share today leave this place with a renewed passion to stay with the word make it a project it takes discipline concentration is not a gift you have to settle down and make up your mind sleep hold on i'm studying you will enjoy me when i sort some things in my life but for now you need to stay don't join people who the Bible says on the seventh day God rested. You are resting on the second day. We only rest on the second on the seventh day. Many people are resting on the first day, resting on the second day. A CEO that has labored for years is now resting. You who just graduated, you are also resting. No, sir. Let's learn from scripture. We rest on the seventh day. You're just starting ministry no influence nobody knows you we are not even sure whether you are saved or not and you are resting i must walk the walks of him that sent me while it is day it says for the night cometh when no man can walk again are we together the bible says a diligent hand shall be made fat you find that in scripture then you go and apply it seven o'clock you get up and you open your business you say what are you doing i'm just starting it takes diligence to establish credibility someone can be sleeping and people will call him because of a relationship that has been built for 10 years you are just starting don't lie down and expect somebody to call you i hope we're still together please obtain grace to stay with the word obtain grace this running from pillar to post minimize it this year and settle down let's come and knock the door of your house and say look i'm studying not because i have a sermon to preach because i have a destiny to fulfill there is a mandate upon my life and i will not fail lord open my eyes and you are studying and light from heaven enters you and like someone who is drunk you begin to rejoice it says i found your word and i did eat it and it was a joy and a rejoicing to me I sense in my spirit that David's Christian Center will record phenomenal testimonies this year. That, listen, there, there are supposedly, for want of word, ordinary people, pastor, who as at this conference may be sitting quietly, but by March, when they come to stand here, they say, my life is a testimony that the word produces. Listen, carry beans or maize seed and keep it on top of your table it does not grow because although it is seed there is something you must do with it are we together now yes. 
Many people have gotten precious seeds, wonderful seeds, but we are not engaging it. The ministry of the word. Number three, so that we'll wrap up. I believe someone's spirit is being fired up this night. And let me just say this. Beware of people who don't even know they are being used by the devil. Who wait just where you have made a commitment to be spiritual. Here they come. In the name of friendship and brotherly kindness, they come and deflate your fire. They may not be bad people. Listen, listen. They may not be bad people. But if you are carrying Isaac to the place of sacrifice, there are good people you have to say, wait at the base here. This height we are climbing, I have to go alone. Being alone and being lonely are two different things. You must sustain the courage to move the direction of your destiny, even if it means editing people. Because there are many people who, just when they make commitments for God, somebody just comes and says, you know what, uh, you are studying, can't you shift it? I think there's something, there's one movie. It's a movie, you can watch it again. I don't know about you, but this is the secret to this life you are seeing. The word of God took me literally. Anybody who ignores the word, you are trying to turn God into a magician. Be ready for surprises. God is a miracle worker, not a magician. Obtain grace to engage. Listen, especially over the areas that are not working in your life. Take inventory of the areas that are working and thank God for it. Then gain greater knowledge. But sample the areas that are not working. I'm healthy, I'm doing well, I'm enjoying a nice relationship with my wife and children, but this finance thing, now it's time to take it as a project. And settle down. The Bible says through wisdom, Proverbs 18 and verse 1, a man having separated himself, that he seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. Lord, why am I like this? Why is it I, that I am a sincere person but I never have good people come around me? There is something you don't know about relationships. Go to the word. He says, he that wants friends must first show himself friendly. There may be something you are not doing. You have not seen the value of men and the value in men. Oh, this is the mistake I've been making. I've been destroying good relationships sincerely because I do not know that relationships are investments and the Holy Spirit speaks to you. Go and listen to Pastor Mildred's teaching that she did this, this and that. And you now listen. In two weeks, you have become a new version of you. By March, God would have brought strategic people to your life. And people wonder and say, what did you do that this person just gave you a car? You didn't do anything. Is that true? Is it true that you didn't do anything? You've heard me say favor is merited. Their favor is dimensional. It is only one dimension of favor that is unmerited. Proverbs 13, 15. Good understanding procured favor, but the way of the transgressor is hard. If someone comes to give Pastor Mildred right now or her dear husband, a, a, a plot of land or a house or a car it's easy to think that oh because they are great men of God you find out what was done first nothing just happens you know that so it's time to make your own happen in the name of Jesus the force of the word this year settle down what is not working in my life Lord grant me grace I believe I married a good man, but we are tired of hitting our heads from pillar to post. Lord, there has to be an answer, and the Spirit of God takes you to Scripture. It may take a while, but let that while meet you studying, not complaining. Let that while meet you studying. Lord, I've been in Lagos for 10 years and I've not gotten a job. Someone just came to David's Christian Center in two weeks and he got a job. What am I doing wrong? This is not jealousy or competition. This is, is you, are, you are provoking yourself to godliness. Let me tell you, until you get angry with some things and get dissatisfied, they will never leave you. 
dissatisfaction is a gift it can push you to a new level for some of you you have experienced dimensions of god spiritually financially but you are camping around mediocrity shake that local champion mentality and trust god to push you the world is your stage stop celebrating success too early i'm better than this and that compared to what Paul at the zenith of his apostolic ministry, he said this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind and facing the things that are before me, he said I press find out who is pressing the man who wrote two thirds of the New Testament make up your mind that this is not the time to start celebrating success too early, pat yourself at the back, Lord I thank you for this but there are heights and we We'll never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you in ministry, in business, and we will never settle for less. When we know there's more that's found in you, sing it one more time, provoke yourself, and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you apostle but i'm a mighty prophet compared to what have you turned nigeria's problem overnight what prophets in the bible who said by this time tomorrow thank god for what you have seen but you are still at the infancy i am a great teacher compared to what paul who spoke before Agrippa before Felix and he said you almost converted me as hardened as they were let me tell you this the spirit of a champion is the spirit of a presser you never settle let those behind you keep clapping for you while you keep shifting and moving I made a covenant with myself that I would never allow the applause of men to close the doors of new levels for me Lord thank you for what you are doing but there is more compared to where you are taking us we are just a step out of the cave keep us humble that's why pride is a killer if you are here and you are suffering from the spirit of pride repent this night and go for a retreat after this conference people brag over nothing just little results I am amazed at the passion of your pastor and their wife in spite of the phenomenal work they are doing across the body, blessing people with their thoughts in, on family life especially, and yet you keep seeing them press. I was having a discussion with your pastor yesterday and I was very humbled by his passion just listening and I said, this is the spirit of a winner. Can I tell you, when you say they are clapping for me, look at those clapping first. Before you say I'm a champion, look at those clapping. Who are the people clapping? Am I challenging you? Obtain grace. Man of God, go back to the drawing board. Thank you for what you have done, but there is more. Prophetess, prophet, there is still more. Businessman, you've not conquered Lagos yet. Thank God that you have started, but come on. Have you been able to give? and fund a conference without it affecting your finances if the answer is no you are not yet there thank god for what you have done but keep pressing number three we have to close <laughs> pray in the spirit for one minute please La barato sabre de ge belego ziata. Hallelujah. Number three, very quickly, we're wrapping up now. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. 